This problem involves a knowledge of a factoring identity, which not everyone learns. And sometimes it's taught and you don't get it. Sometimes it's not taught. Um, it's called the sum of cubes. And what I want to do first, well, I mean, here it is. This is what a cubed plus b cubed equals, if you factor it out. But I want to just quickly prove it so you can, I don't know, believe me a little more. And if I say, let's prove it, what I mean is, let's actually FOIL this out and determine uh, what it is after the multiplication. So a times a, that's a cubed. a times minus ab is minus a squared b. a times b squared is going to be uh, a b squared. And then I'm going to take the b's and do the same thing. b times a squared, that's b a squared. b times negative a b is negative a b squared. And b times b squared is going to be b cubed. And you see, you add these things, things all up, and what happens? Well, the a squared b cancels out the b a squared. Those are the same. Likewise, a b squared, a b squared. So all you get is a cubed plus b cubed. We've proved this identity. So here's the two identities. a cubed plus b cubed equals a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. Another one very similar to this is a cubed minus b cubed. That's called the difference of cubes. And in this case, it's a minus b, a squared plus a b plus b squared. Okay, see there's some differences and similarities between these two. What you might remember, teacher might have taught you this, um, if you look at the signs in here, that's the same that's the opposite. And this one right here is always positive. So if you think about an easy way to remember that, it's like S O always positive. It's like it spells out soap. Okay. You may have seen that before. Now let's get into how to use this identity to solve this particular problem. I'm going to I'm going to wipe away the stuff I don't need. Okay, here's my identity. So compare that to x cubed plus 125. x cubed plus 125. Well, as I look at this, I realize, hey, x is just equal to a. And furthermore, 125 is equal to b cubed. So take the cubed root of each side. You're going to find out that 5 equals b. Okay, these are the important things x equals a, and b equals 5. Now let's compare that to our solutions. Well, if I write this in factored form, it's now going to be x plus 5 and x squared minus 5 times x plus what's b squared? That's 5 squared, or in other words, 25. So which one of those shows up in our list? Uh, there it is, x plus 5 right here. Okay. Sometimes it'll be x plus 5, sometimes it'll be x squared minus 5x plus 25. Um, but if you know this identity, the SOAP identity right here, then you can work through this pretty quickly.